What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some other combat changes coming with Update 35. A few days back I made a video talking about how they're looking to change weaving in Update 35. But that's not the only thing they're going to do when it comes to combat. They're also looking to kind of work out combat effects. And what this means is outside of weaving, the main limiter of your effectiveness in combat is your ability to output events such as damage, healing, shielding, etc. So your damage over time abilities. Uh, activating an ability from your action bar locks you out of other abilities for one second. So a way to circumvent the system is to utilize actions that add power or extra events without you needing to con uh, continuously activate those events. And those are often you know, kind of called you know buffs and debuff abilities or a damage or healing over time ability. Keeping, uh, keeping as many of these abilities up as long as possible improves your combat potential, creating another area of mastery and potential of power deltas. Currently, many of the abilities fall off with a 10 second window, meaning to maximize your efficiency, you must activate them once every 10 seconds. So kind of in short, what they're looking to do is kind of change up how uh, you know those damage over time and healing over time abilities work. So what they're looking to do is pretty much their actions per minute, the duration of that damage and healing over time effect that currently lasts for 10 seconds. They're looking in update 35. Of course, this will go through the public test server, so some of this could change. They're looking to increase these to 20 seconds instead of 10 seconds. That means if the duration is increased, the overall DPS or damage over time is going to be reduced so that the DPS gap uh, kind of that players have will definitely kind of shrink down a little bit more. So for someone that can manage a complicated rotation, now the people that might not be able to manage that complicated rotation, it won't be as much of a, a skill gap in between, you know, those players. Healing over time abilities will also have their, you know, kind of power reduced so they don't become too overpowered in things like PvP or other scenarios. They talked about that as well. I'm kind of curious to see exactly how all of this is going to work and how the community is really going to react to this, especially when this hits the public test server on, on PC. I'm really curious to see how the, the, you know, the PC players kind of take this. Because I know a lot of people out there are really angry because now if you're you know, you're, you're kind of toning weaving back. You're, you're toning back the damage over time and healing over time abilities. A lot of people feel like the gap is going to be lessened a lot between a player that is really skilled and, and can weave and, and, you know, cast a lot of abilities in a, in a certain time compared to players that maybe not are maybe not as good at doing a complicated rotation. A lot of people feel like this is going to water rotations down to where you don't really have to have a complicated rotation. And there's been a lot of people in the past, you know, uh, have different opinions about this. Some people like weaving. Some people like having complicated rotations. Some people don't. Some people want it to be like other games where, you know, you hit your action, you hit your ability, and you go to your next ability. You don't have the weaving and you don't have the trying to keep dots up and everything to get, you know, maximum damage. They want it to be a little more simplified. And I still think there's going to be a gap, uh, a skill gap in between, you know, players in, in the game ones that are really good with rotations and ones that may not be as good. I still think that will be there, but I think it will be a bit less than it was in the past. And I'm not really, it doesn't really concern me that much. Now, if there is a huge difference, you know, once the public test server comes out, that might be a little bit more of a concern to me. But as it goes, or kind of as it looks right now, I don't really think there's too much of a need, in my opinion, to get too worried about this. I know there's going to be a lot of people out there that disagree with this completely. A lot of people out there that like this idea, but I'm really curious what you guys think. Do you think weaving and, you know, kind of changing the way these dots are going to work in game, is that going to hurt the player base in the future? A lot of people are saying they're just going to quit playing because they feel like it's going to be way too simplified. Some people are just frustrated with it. You know, they may say they're not going to come back and play, but you know, eventually they will, or, you know, they won't quit at all. It's it just kind of, a thing, one of those things in ESO that you know, we've experienced this in the past with other stuff where a lot of the community likes it, a lot of the community doesn't. And it's just one of those things we're going to kind of have to wait and see how it works out in the public test server. Because as we know in the past, Zoss has changed up a lot of things. They've changed up the way a lot of attacks. I, I talked about this in the weaving video, how a lot of attacks at one point did a lot of damage, then they kind of reduced that and they added it back. Will this be a thing that is permanent? Who knows? You know, this may be a, a thing just for update 35 or it may not even get past, you know, the, the public test server phase 
in the form that it is in right now. They may have to change some things that we'll kind of have to wait and see. But leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like the way they're changing weaving? Do you like the idea of changing how these dots work to kind of lessen the gap or the skill gap in, in the player base to kind of, you know, for the players that have a really high ceiling kind of for everyone else to catch up with them? Or would you like them to kind of just leave it alone or leave it like it was or like it has been over the last several updates? Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.